Okay, so what we have here is a lack of power. We need more power. More power. And the solution? Hey, welcome back to the Happy Place Diaries. I'm Jerry and I'm flying solo on this video because, well, we're talking about gear and Teresa's really not into it. So I want to introduce you to a power solution that we found and in full disclosure, uh, our friends at Blue Eddy, kind enough to send us one of these to check it out and see if it's going to meet all of our camping needs. And guess what, Blue Eddy? You're not getting it back. We love this little monster. And we are talking about the Blue Eddy EB55. Now we'll get into all the stuff about the Blue Eddy EB55, but in a practical sense, here's the deal. We are in a travel trailer, and when we are at 30 amp hookups, we cannot run the microwave and our space heater at the same time. We can't run our space heater and the Keurig coffee pot at the same time. So what we need is an additional power source that's going to let us keep the space heater on in the winter, run fans in the summer, charge all of our devices while not taking away from power that's organic to the travel trailer. In the summertime, we won't be able to run our air conditioner and run the coffee pot or run the air conditioner and the microwave it just isn't built for that and to be honest with you we're glampers we need all of that stuff so let's get into the blue eddy all right so this is the blue eddy eb55 and i'm gonna tell you everything I like about it, and I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it. We are under no obligation to make Blue Eddy uh, look good, although they look good all by themselves. Let me tell you that right up front. Here's the things that we like about the Blue Eddy. Oh, and if you're looking for specs and stuff like that, stay tuned to the end of the video. Uh, we'll, we'll take care of all that business at the end, but really, I don't really care about the specs as long as the darn thing works and it does exactly what we want it to and stick around because the most important thing that this thing does is coming up. Hey the first thing that you're going to notice when you get your Blue Eddy is how well this thing is packaged. I mean they did a quality job in getting this to your house. So what comes in the box? Well, the EB55 and this little box right here, which contains a really nice set of instructions in here. You get the charger. You get a charger to use in your 12 volt system. This is really nice for charging while you're going down the road. You get a solar charger, and I don't know what they call these things, but it's if you have the optional solar panels, which we don't have. And then you get this really cool strap to keep all your, all your charging cables together. All right, first thing that you'll notice about the Blue Eddy out of the box is that this is your display, and out of the box, it comes at 80% charged. So you could go ahead and start using it. Uh, you have a 12 volt uh, port right here so that you can use stuff with your 12 volt system. You have four uh, 110 outlets. The two on the top have the ground, the two on the bottom don't. Over here, you've got your input. This is for charging. And this is really cool. So when you're charging with the charging block that you plug into the wall, uh, this little port goes right in here and then that goes into the wall and this baby will charge from zero to hundred in about two hours. 
you also have the option of charging on your solar panels. And here's what's cool. You can use both of them at the same time, which is going to give you about 400 watts of input. And then down here, you've got a USB-C and you've got four USB uh, charging ports. And then on the top, you've got a 15 volt flat charging deal for your phone. If your phone has wireless charging, lay your phone right up there and it's going to start charging. So that's the front panel. The side panels are your vents and your fans. And then you've got this really, really cool light. It does just light and it'll do a brighter light. But let me tell you, this thing absolutely lights up a room. Let's put this baby to the test. Okay, so to use one of the deep ports, you just turn it on and the little green light will come on and that will activate this. If you want to plug something in to, to this, you just get the green light on and you can have them all on. Now, like I said, in the summertime, we need to use this fan. So this is a USB fan. So plug that in. And that's on high right there. And you can see here that we're only putting out two watts with this fan. Let's put that fan up there. We are constantly needing to charge up our Canon M50 batteries. And now they're red, so they're charging. And what about the GoPro batteries? And now it's charging. And in the wintertime, we run our Honeywell space heater. Let's plug that bad boy in. And we're running the heater. And it's pulling 680 watts. So we've got a fan going, we've got a heater going, we got GoPro batteries going, we've got uh, Canon M50 batteries going. Okay, one of the things that I absolutely love about this. Uh, EB55 that you'll notice is that it doesn't have a very big footprint. I mean, that's it. For a 700 watt battery pack? Are you kidding me? That's a small Keurig and that's the EB55. And yeah, that's right. I said that is a 700 watt sine wave inverter. So let me tell you why we chose this over some other stuff. Right away, people are gonna ask, well, why not just buy a 3000 watt generator? Well, number one, we're not boondockers. And when we do boondock, it's for a night at a harvest toast or you know, somewhere in a Cabela's parking lot as we're passing through somewhere. So I really couldn't justify the cost of getting a full on gas powered generator. Besides, the cost of gas, you kidding me? We looked at one of these solutions and then, you know, just timing is everything. Blue Eddy reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to take a look at this and oh yeah, the answer was surely yes. Now it's a lithium ion phosphate battery. And don't ask me what that means. I just know that it's pretty cool. Uh, this thing will charge uh, 2,500 cycles at 25 Oh, one, it only knocks the battery down to 80% and you just keep working. Now, in relative terms, that's six years and eight months of cycling this thing. And that is if you did it every single day. 
Yeah, six years and eight months. Pretty darn good. I don't think we're going to need this thing in six years. In fact, I know we're going to be in a 50 amp uh, system here in the next couple years. So one of the things I love about the Blue Eddy is this carrying handle that flips up. It makes it really nice and portable. It only weighs 16 pounds, so it's really not that bad. Um, we're out here. We're going to put some air in these tires using our Husky inflator. And it runs on a 12 volt or 120 volt. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and plug that right on in. And there you go. I've got a portable system to uh, inflate all my tires because I could carry both of these around to all four. Now the EB55 will not run the Keurig. So it is not camping, glamping, or any other ing -ing, ing without a nice cup of coffee in the morning. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. And guess what? This is the Mr. Coffee Mini 5 Cup. And the Mr. Coffee only pulls 650 watts. So I just went and got this at the Walmart. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work yet. This is the only thing I haven't tested. Um, but it shouldn't be a problem anymore because now we can actually run the coffee pot and the microwave at the same time. And that, my friends, is worth the price to pay for that Blue Eddy right there. All right, so do you need the Blue Eddy? I think, I think you need something if you want to augment your power and get rid of your problems and create some solutions. I mean, this is going to revolutionize the way that we get out there and not be afraid to not have, you know, full hookups because now I know I could be out at a let me open that I could be out at a uh, Cabela's and still get a great cup of coffee when I'm at full hookup sites I've got the you know microwave and all of my other features that we love in our Keystone Passport the Blue Eddy 700 watt EB55 is definitely for us now let me tell you what I don't like about it Number one, I don't like that the screen only shows uh, 180, 60, 40, 20. Because once you get down to 20%, you don't know if you've got 20% or if you've got 2%, and then it'll just turn off. Now, is that going to be a showstopper for us? Absolutely not. The other thing that I don't like about it is that you have to turn on one of the power options to charge the phone on the top. It'd be cool if it just knew that the phone was laying there and it started charging, but you just have to turn on either the USB one and lay your phone up there and boom, it charges right away. It retails right at $499, which again, totally worth it. Hey, thanks for coming along. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that little join button and you can help veterans we thank you in advance uh, for hitting that join button and helping us out. Again, we thank you for coming along. We appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll see you in the next video.